6 john here and today what i want to talk about is something that we don't really think about very much that is bear attacks in other countries it's easy to think about north america canada united states as having a lot of bear attacks and we don't think of many other countries as having them but bears are all around the world and today what i want to focus on is what I recently uh, found out and did some research on that is bear attacks in Japan it looks like they're having an epidemic of bear attacks uh, last year it's continuing on this year so keep on watching and I hope you enjoy the video I came across this article on the web uh, in Japan they had this bear attack of uh, six in Kita, Akita City and two in the nearby Iwa Prefecture that's all in Japan and um, they're talking about how the, these bears were attacking a bunch of people one of the pictures they showed is this bus stop here and it says here a senior high school student on her way to school was attacked by a bear at this bus stop in Kita, Akita City. That does not look like a bear attack spot to me. I mean, that looks like it's in a city right there in a town. And this happened in uh, October of 2023. Well, I guess they were having so many bear attacks that uh, the Japan ministry has got a bunch of experts and they're trying to figure out what to do with all these bear attacks. And if you read some of the notes here from this article, it says here, the central government plans to dispatch experts across the country to deal with the bear problems as the number of attacks on humans hit a record high, 177 this year. Further on, it says at least 177 people have been attacked by bears nationwide this year as of October 31st. This is 2023 in Japan. Uh, the highest number since record keeping started in 2006. Uh, then they talk about how many people were killed. Two people were killed in Iwait. One each killed in Hokkaido, Toyama, and Nagano. That sounds like a lot of a bear attacks and people being killed by bears to me. Here is a YouTube video of a person picking mushrooms and he got attacked by a bear. Part of the outcome of the earlier meeting was that they uh, classified their brown and black bears to a controlled animals list, was, which gave it additional uh, protections and study. A couple of uh, highlights of that. They have two types of bears in uh, Japan. They have the Asuri brown bear which is uh, similar to the Kamchatka brown bear. They're more dark color, almost a black color. Then they also have the Japanese black bear, which is a subspecies of the Asian black bear. Uh, the thing about these bears is that they have, a lot of them have a, uh, a white patch on their chest. So a lot of times they're called moon bears something like that uh, one thing that they did mention in the previous study was that in 2023 there was a total of 219 humans were injured in bear attacks the highest ever on record and six of those people were killed 
Here's a video of a brown bear attacking a truck in Japan. Let's watch. Bear attacks are still occurring in Japan. This story uh, occurred in May 19th of uh, last month, 2024. Authorities urge caution after wild bears attack several people. In it, they say um, to have residents in the Tohoku region after several people are attacked, including police officers. It says here two police officers were attacked Saturday in the city of Kuzuno while recovering the body of a missing man. It appears the man was gone hunting for bamboo shoots in the mountains a few days earlier where he was found dead in the area with gash wounds. They say it remains unclear if he died due to a bear attack, but it sounds like he died of a bear attack. Oh, they have a bit of a problem there in Japan. Hope they uh, sort it out. Anyhow, that's all I have today, everyone. Hey, thanks for watching. Everyone stay safe and uh, have a nice day.